back with another uh, backgammon, but this time it's an upgrade. Uh, this is not a this is not a board unboxing and review. This is me unboxing some accessories that I've recently purchased and are required, and that I'm going to be using on one of my boards that I actually have previously reviewed. So as you may recall, I acquired this FTH board in this very monochromatic uh, layout some months ago, and I talked about how I, I wanted to you know, maybe experiment with some different checkers, maybe a different cube, and that's exactly what I decided to do. I'm gonna um, unbox some checkers that I had specially made for this board in Moldova uh, by a, a guy named Vadim and his father, and were shipped to me a little while ago. They make custom-made checkers to order in any width, in any thickness, in any kind of finish that you want. So I had some resin checkers with metal edges that are basically going to be replacing the checkers that came with the FTH board, these bone and black checkers, which are 45 millimeters wide and nine millimeters thick. So I look forward to seeing those on this board. And then I'm going to replace the cube with a cube made by um, a guy named Nick Peterson, a friend of mine on Facebook, who goes by the name Save the Gammon as far as his, uh, his business. And he makes really amazing, gorgeous, custom-made uh, doubling cubes. So let's see what the package from Moldova looks like. Okay. Oh, I think he also sent, that's right, he sent some metal doubling cubes as well. I forgot about that. So let's see what we got here. I think he sent me two different size metal doubling cubes, one of which I may use in my new uh, 869 Airhorn board. Whoa, check that out. That is really, really cool. That is 40 millimeters and this one is 30 millimeters. Those are solid metal. They look like they're actually like put together like a puzzle, but they're not. They're just made with cool interlocking pieces of metal. That is really cool. Um, let's see what we have here. This looks like, this is some of the checkers. Some, but not all. Oh, this is actually samples that he sent me of the new stuff that he's doing, which includes checkers that have different things inside them, like stones. You can actually see kind of right through the checker, and it's got these sort of rocks in them. This is metal edge. These are thick. That's got to be like almost 15 millimeters. This is slightly less wide, but also very thick. And you can kind of see the uh, finish that you get on these. Wow, different different color, that's very different, very interesting. And you can see that they come in a variety of sizes and shapes. Wow, this is like only like maybe 25 millimeters. This is maybe, and, and they're different weights too. Very intriguing. And that actually kind of goes with some stuff that Vadim sent me back uh, some weeks ago, which are sort of representations of the metal checkers that he does with sort of the leatherette. He can do different colors on both sides so you can change the look. Uh, he's got some that are fully metal edged, like so, or he's got some that actually have the color in the middle. He's got different checkers like that, that come with sort of a vinyl leather, like so. And then he's got these interesting kind of acrylic checkers that are actually sort of like clear on the middle, and then he's got colors on the top. And these are pretty thick. These are probably 13 to 14 millimeters thick and can come in a variety of, of colors. So this is just like a smorgasbord of, uh, of different kinds of checkers that Vadim and his father make. So let me open up the ones that I got for this board though. All right, so these are the two sets of checkers that I had custom made uh, by Vadim and his father, Nikolai. Let's see, a little wary of doing anything to the checker itself. So let's see. So I don't want to cut myself. Okay, there we go. I had these done in sort of a gray with black flex and then black with gray flex. These would be the light colored checkers. And they are perfectly 
fitting and they fit perfectly in the slot too. Ooh, that's so cool. Black and black with gray flex and gray with black flex. And these fit perfectly across. They're not super weighty or heavy, but they're, they're they glide nicely on the merino wool. Wow. And I know that these will fit perfectly over here. Perfect for this board. So let me set these up. See how these see how these work. These are definitely different. These are a lot different than the, the checkers that came with, which are bone and black, but uh, and beautiful in their own right. It's just a different kind of look. And obviously you could get checkers made to order in any size and really with any color. I kind of stuck with a very sort of muted um, gray and black color scheme, but uh, these are really, really beautiful. Um, you can definitely tell the dark from the light color uh, checkers, and so I don't think there'd be any issue with, uh, with, with play. So let's see, I'm moving them around. 6-4 to black, let's run. Yeah, they're nice. And this board uh, just lends itself to explosions of color. I had someone comment about uh, saying it would be amazing if I had like blue and orange checkers. And I was like, yeah, that would be amazing. Um, but you know, I decided to kind of go a little bit more conservative. So let's try this. Six and three, that's maybe the right play, maybe not. Uh, Vadim, Nikolai, these are amazing. So uh, let me uh, pause for a moment and then I'm gonna break out the cube from Save the Gammon. Okay, so this is the cube from uh, Nick Peterson, Save the Gammon. You can find him on eBay, I believe, and you can find him on Facebook. Uh, he certainly has a Facebook page for Save the Gammon, although I think he's so busy these days with making cubes and just living his life with his wife and kid that he maybe has been taking uh, some breaks from making cubes. But you can always check out his shop at savethegammon.com. Whoops. And this one is called, I believe, Blue Algae, which is kind of a reference to sort of Blue Moon, the Blue Moon checkers that you can get, which are kind of more of like, almost like an algae green. Uh, but uh, this is an uh, algae blue. And I expected this, oh wow. That is a really interesting pop of color there. Check that out. This is made from resin that he uses and he hand finishes them, hand paints the numbers in. That is, really reminds me of like a Van Gogh painting or something. That is really, really cool. And I think it's 40 millimeters. I know it's 40 millimeters, so it would fit in this board exactly, uh, perfectly. That is really cool. Now compared to the 40 millimeter metal cube, boy, that is, that would be an interesting Schwett combination to have here. This is pretty hefty. This is a little less heavy. This is quite hefty. Anyways, um, these are the new checkers. I encourage you, if you want to diversify your backgammon board or do something new, Backgammon Moldova, which is available uh, you know, on Facebook. You can find them on Facebook. They're on eBay. Uh, this would be a way to really bring some new color and vitality to a board if you want to do something different, like a metal edge checker. These cubes are amazing, the ones from Vadim and Nikolai, and then this cube from Save the Gammon is just gorgeous, and I'm gonna keep it in this board, I think, and use it because I really like the pop of green that goes with this sort of monochromatic gray. I'm gonna probably put this one in my 869 board, my Airhan board, or maybe this one. I don't know, too many choices. All right, well, that's just a short video about some upgrades to my backgammon boards. Uh, have a good one.